Yeah, building something like this and you think I'm bloody sane. <laughs> this was something that you're driving past it, there's no way you can muster. it. And I'm getting used to it. I've thought for a long time I'd like to build my own caravan and I thought the log was a good idea. Yeah, once I'd made up my mind I was going to do it, I just went ahead and did it. You just started building it and I said, what's that? No, it'll be the log. It's shaped like a log. Take a little trip, take a little trip, take a little trip to see. And it was lucky I had something to do right through the lockdown, seven days a week. Oh, well, I'm usually in the workshop around 8 in the morning and, and um, there till 6 or later at night. Lives in there. Got to call him in for tea half the time. It rides really good because it's on air suspension. I made up all the trailing arms and cut the axles down and yeah, put it on airbags. I was a bit hesitant about it, but it's quite cosy now. You can see I've still got to put some drawers under this side. I've done Jane's side, um, the all finished, so that ended some complaints. It's something we've never really done before, a, a giant log. We don't see any giant logs on the road. It's basically a, an adhesive backed PVC film, and um, we can put any sort of image on top of that. We, we achieved uh, a silver medal for so second place in the New Zealand Sign and Display Association Awards. It's got a seven year warranty on it, but being in the shed, the guy said, you know, it lasts forever. Well, when you're bloody near 80, ever, forever's not that far away, is it? I'm not an academic type. I don't do too many drawings or calculations. Or Actually, I was probably the dumbest kid in school. I'd, I'd like to meet some of my teachers now. And it must be quite great having a guy who's so handy. Oh, it is. Yeah, very much. Mm. Good, good catch. This is the Mixed Up Project. Josh Thompson is me. I'm Jesse Mulligan. Laura Tupo is Carnal Lloyd. And Chris Parker is himself. Yeah! God bless Joe. What an amazing, oh. amazing caravan. I kind of feel long-suffering, Jane. Not sure. <laughs> but what a lockdown project. And I know, in fact, his is not the only famous lockdown project. I oh, yeah, Chris... hate to bring it up again. <laughs> I guess I fell to the hat during the lockdown. And yes, I got bought by two national museums. And yes, I guess I provided a high-res image of it again. But I, I hate to bring it up. It is in the museum, that's quite it amazing. Is. I do look back on that time and think, when I look at that hat now, and think, you know, maybe I wasn't in an okay place. <laughs> <laughs> and I do wonder if the museum are also like, do we still need to hold on to this hat or should we throw, throw it out? No, they need to keep it because they need to own the bad decisions they made in the space <laughs> as well. <laughs> I mean, do, does anyone actually, like, commit to their lockdown projects still? Like, hey, what, what, did you have a lockdown? Oh, project? I was very cliché, um, sourdough. And, and I was just fascinated that I could, you know, um, collect yeast from the atmosphere. Uh, my wife just wanted to throw it out. <laughs> can, can you stop walking around neighbourhoods collecting yeast, please? <laughs> Be honest though, Jeremy, have you yeah. needed dough since? Never. It lasted about two weeks in the fridge and, and disappeared. Oh, cool. Let's <laughs>